Hi there everyone, this is Emmy, and I'm here today with allfreecrochet.com to demonstrate to you how to do the magic ring when starting out crocheting in the round. Traditionally when you start crocheting in the round you'll start with a chain 5 slip stitch to join and form a ring. And you're left with this hole, this type of hole in the center of your work. But If you start out with the magic ring you'll have a finished product that looks more like this in the pink sample. Now if you were making a hat that had a pom-pom on the top it probably wouldn't matter if you had this hole in the center because your pom-pom would cover that up. But if you were going to make a, a beanie or a cloche hat and the top of the hat is going to be seen at all times then you would be better to have this nice finish here that would have your closed in top of your hat. So I'm going to start demonstrating and show you how to do the magic ring to start in crochet. Now normally and traditionally in crochet when you start you have a slip knot. To make a slip knot you wind the yarn around your fingers, you put your hook through the loop and you pull it through and then you just tighten up this stitch so that you have a slip knot. And in Using the magic ring as your beginning, you will start in the same manner. So you wind the yarn around your fingers, you pick up the yarn and bring it through that opening, but here's where it changes. Instead of tightening up this loop and, and forming a slip knot, you're going to leave this loop open. and You're going to do one chain stitch. Now that's the beginning of your magic ring. And this stitch is not going to count as one of the stitches in your pattern. So if your pattern calls for making 10 single crochets in the first round, you will still make 10 single crochets in this open loop. So we're going to start doing that. We're going to have our 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm just going to point out that I'm carrying the yarn end along with me also. So when I do my single crochets I'm working over the uh, loop yarn and the yarn end. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we slip stitch to join. So there's your first row completed with your 10 single crochets. I'm just going to release the hook for a moment. So, and flip it around to the back. Now here's the yarn that we've been using to make our stitches. And here's the yarn end from the beginning of the magic ring. So now we're going to close up this center circle. And we do that by holding on to the work and pulling on the yarn end. And it works best if you grasp it between your index finger and your thumb. And then you can give it a good firm tug. And it'll need one more. And that closes up the center of your ring and your project. So if you had a hat, this would then be the center top of your hat. Now to make sure that this doesn't come apart, we're then going to take our yarn and we're going to thread it into a yarn needle. So then we'll go through a couple of stitches in one direction. We're going to turn, go in the opposite direction. And I like to make sure that in my projects are never ever going to come apart, so I do a third one. So now you can clip off this yarn end with your scissors, and you can just continue on finishing your project. Now, you could wait until you're totally done your, your hat and close up your magic ring then. But I like to do it now and then have it closed up and know how large my hat's going to be when it's finished. So I have it all nice and finished. So now you can just pro proceed and do your next row. And that's how you make the magic ring to start out a crochet in the round project. And that's been brought to you today by allfreecrochet.com where you can get lots of crochet patterns for free, tutorials and tips on how to crochet. So please drop by sometime.